Okay, in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the Jim Foltz Unfold Tool plugin for Google SketchUp. You'll notice that the uh, once you install it in the plugins folder, that'll show up here under Plugins Unfold Tool. You can download it off Jim Foltz. Uh, blog page or you can get it from the flat form. Now here's an example one of the guys posted on RC groups and I figured I would use this as an example to try to unfold it. I'm going to do a quick and uh, easy way to do it. There's several different methods for unfolding something. First thing I'm going to do is you'll notice that this particular style has these these edges and I'm, I really don't like the look of it so we'll go up to window styles and I'm going to use the default SketchUp style and it just it makes a little bit of a cleaner look. We'll get a camera and we'll take it off of parallel projection and put it on perspective mode. And you'll notice that this model has been smooth. You can't see any bend lines or anything like that. We need to see those lines in order to uh, make this unfold. So we're going to triple click on this model and you'll notice that it has all the fold lines basically built in there for each face where they would angle at. I'm orbiting around, I'm using this orbit tool here, but without having to click on it every time you can use the middle mouse wheel. Just click down on your middle mouse wheel. It makes it a lot easier to get around the model, especially when using the unfold tool. We want to show these lines without having the whole thing selected, so we're going to go into window, soften edges, so we're going to take off soften uh, coplanar and soften uh, smooth normals and we're just going to turn everything off there. All right, Now when we unclick it we actually have the look that we're after that we have uh, something to go by. Alright so what I like to do is look for a center point in the model where I know that's where I'm going to create my fold uh, start at. So what you want to do at this point is go up to the uh, plugins unfold tool and just start the opposite end of that using your orbit tool middle mouse button to scroll around to get into position so that you can select that edge. Now you'll notice at this point if I keep going around it's just going to keep bringing this um, line around which is uh, not really what I'm after. You can hit control Z at any time by the way and you'll notice down here there are other uh, selections that you can actually make. What I would do at this point is click out into the uh, world somewhere and then start again from the opposite side. So later when I actually build this model in the real world out of uh, foam or paper I'll be able to cut along these lines and refold it into a real 3D model. So let's um, just continue through that real quick do exactly what we've been doing and just go down each segment the same way get them to the point of um, them laying flat. Oops that was a mistake. Okay. And remember, just click off into the world so it deselects this one, and you can start a new unfold. We'll run through this real quick. You'll notice on this one that it's disconnected here. So at this point, um, you could actually just click somewhere in here, and it'll put it approximately where it should be. We know that it actually needs to be right up here, so we can get out of the unfold tool using the select tool, triple click that, grab this um, edge here, and just lock it right to this edge. And then we continue with this bottom portion. Go back into the plugins unfold tool, and continue. Now we have that unfolded and it's almost flat there, but and I'll show you how we can get that flat. There's a couple different ways, um, but we're going to select this top portion here. If you select too much or, or another area like I did back here, you can always hit Control um, Shift and then deselect, or you can hit Control and select. So you'll see that it changes the cursor to a negative or a plus sign. What we're going to do is take this top portion and just move it over here and we'll treat this as a separate unit that gets, uh, that gets built separately. And we'll just go back to the uh, unfold tool and continue um, the same thing knowing that this is, the, this is the main area that we want to pay attention to here. Oops, I messed up. I forgot to click out in the world and that's what happens. So 
it's this was all selected, so let's deselect that. Okay, you can see that we uh, have a slight curve here. Now we could go through. These are the two different ways I was mentioning that you could go through and actually um, finish this to get a flat 2D part to work with. Um, one thing is we have to get this entire object on one angle and uh, the way to do that is using one of your angles. So if you go back up into the uh, fold, unfold tool and just select your first row that you've unfolded uh, along one of the one of the angles and then you you just to go back through and you notice if you click on the next angle it lifts that whole row up to meet it and then you select the next entire row here and click on the next one and you'll see that it lifts it up and you continue that down to the end Of course, I, I don't have to click on the center one either. I mean, these are all in the same, the same uh, plane. Now, at this point, you've got the uh, whole thing selected, and you'll see that it's actually flat across an angle, but it's not flat on the zero plane uh, across the ground here. So one of the tricks that I use is I create a rectangle somewhere out here, or a square somewhere out here with a face, and I know that that face is right along the zero plane you'll see then we want to bring this down to it so one way to do that is select the entire object and go to the unfold tool and just click on that face once that's selected and you'll see that it flattens it completely flattens it to the zero plane now along that red axis that part's almost ready to be cut out you'll notice that the cut would actually go all the way to this point here where the two uh, cuts meet, but there's no reason to have these center these center lines in here So you can just go through and delete those with your eraser tool And that's pretty much ready. I would select this and group it Hitting G or making a component same thing um, Another way to do this I wanted to show you is um, Using the flat script you'll look up here. This is the the flat the flat boys uh, flat script toolbar and this allows you to sign cut codes to your parts so you don't have to cut them out by hand. You could use a flat printer and cut these parts out. What you would do is select this entire object and using the move tool lift it up off of the off of the zero plane if any part's touching. You can right click on it. You'll notice if you have the Flat Boys uh, plugins installed you have uh, what you'll see this toolbar. You'll have the flat edge here where you can take and pick a few different options through from this context menu and one of them happens to be flattened selected edges so if we click on that you'll notice that now it drops everything down that you have selected on that zero plane and it's almost ready once again you don't really need these middle lines you can go through and um, just delete these and then that parts ready uh, you go to camera parallel projection so you get a straight two-dimensional view go to the top view uh, position these parts where you want them to be save space or save uh, foam or paper whatever you're working with zoom extents and these parts are ready to be cut out at this point uh, if you had a flat printer you could assign fold lines for each individual one of these cuts uh, outside cut lines inside cutouts, drill marks, um, center line cuts, all kinds of neat stuff. So if you get a chance, come over to the platform and check out some of the stuff the guys have been doing over there. There's some pretty incredible things going on there that are being created with the use of the flat printer and the use of Jim Foltz plug-in in combination with the flat script and um, just makes it a powerful combination. So thanks again for watching. I hope this helps.